Hi everyone, so I have a Goodwill outlet haul that I am wanting to show everybody. I haven't made a video in a long time, um, but I saved this stuff because I figured I kind of wanted to get back into YouTube and back into showing, um, just making videos. So I want to just get started because I think this is going to be a long video. So I, like I said, this is from Goodwill Outlet. This is where the bins are. This is where you dig through all the bins and you pay by the pound. So I usually, I've only been there three times, three or four times in my life. Um, I'm recently getting into reselling a lot more than I have been. I've been on Mercari for years now. I've had a lot of success on Mercari. Um, I'm just recently starting to get on to Poshmark. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you what all I got at the bins. Um, I got a bin of stuff that I'm going to post on Poshmark and Mercari. And then I got a bin of stuff I'm going to keep. So that's my biggest downfall is I want to keep a lot of the stuff that I find. But I figured I can't do all that. So yeah, let's get started. So first thing, I've been going to the bins with this bag now. Um, I just put all my clothes in here as they get into the cart but I found this bag there and it's actually in really good condition it's from Victoria's Secret I was planning on selling it at first um, but it's in good condition and I'm thinking I'm gonna keep that so that was my first thing second thing I have I found a pair of Nike shoes Nike tennis shoes they are a little bit worn um, as you can tell you can tell somebody's worn them right there but they are in decent condition they're my size so there's that so if I wanted to keep them I probably will um, if not I'll see how how good they go on Poshmark but yeah I got these um, this was a good find I like the print I'm making a zebra print and I like zebras or zebra print so like those that was a good find I got this dress, so it's a size six from Kate Spade, and I really like this dress. It's a soft linen-y material, um, so in the back it has a little key outlet, and then it's just a pretty summery kind of short dress. Um, it's like peachy and it has flamingos on it, so I think this is cute size six I don't it might fit me it's kind of big but it's kind of on the bigger size of six so there's that I want to post it um, and see how well it goes if not I might keep it not sure another thing I found was this armor under armor hat um, it's in good condition I don't see any like tears or anything the only thing is that it's definitely just have to be put through the wash. It's the washing machine. But I found that. It's a decent hat. I think this might sell well. I'm not going to price it really high, but I'll get something for it. Considering I got it all from the bins. So I'll make a little extra from that. This skirt is a Carter Charter Club skirt, size 12. I was finding a lot of skirts, um, but usually I don't, I wouldn't have picked this up. I looked at the comps, it's only like 15, but I figured it was there, I found it. It has a decent, um, like cool print, kind of like a 3D texture to it. Um, and like I said, if I get 15, even 10, it's not really that big a deal for me since I paid maybe I'll say 50 cents per item so that's good anything I'm not really picky on what um, like kind of profit margin I'm getting because everything is going to be a profit if that kind of makes sense so I got that um, it might do better in the spring but we'll see another is an Under Armour t-shirt it's a size large I don't see any stains or anything so it's a nice like lime green color um, just has the Under Armour logo right there I don't think it's too bad 
pick that up. Might, we'll see how it goes. I might keep that if it doesn't sell well. So another one, another skirt. I, I was having good luck on skirts. I was finding a lot of skirts. So this is a Liz Claiborne size 14. And I love this print. It's very spring. It's very floral. Kind of like a 3D um, pixelated floral print. So I really like it. Um, we'll see how that goes. And I didn't see any stains. The zipper worked fine. So yeah, I was liking that. I found a pair of shorts. So these are Nike shorts. Um, size medium. The dry fit label. So they're just regular workout shorts. Nothing too spectacular. Um, if these don't sell well or if they sit for a long time, I might end up just keeping them. Um, you really can't go wrong with a pair of shorts just to lounge around the house. This, um, so I looked at the comps on this when I was there and it was decent. It was, like I said, like 15 maybe. I'm probably going to not listed at 15, I'm probably gonna list it at 10. But it's DNKY jeans, a large tank top. But I liked this because the bottom has like a, like a lace fishnet kind of detail to it. So I figured that was kind of different. So I picked that up. Like I said, probably not gonna price it that high, but anything is good for me this. I was excited to see this. I used to be really into Juicy Couture. Um, I know it's lost its value a lot in the years because I think it's at like they sell them at Gordman's now. But I thought it was a very very cute skirt. So it's black. It has pockets. It's kind of um, like I don't know what material that is but it's like a raincoat sort of, but I like it. I think it's really cute. It's a size eight. Um, so this might even, it might fit me. I might try it on and see how it goes. Zipper works perfectly fine. Um, yeah, I think it's really cute. I didn't see anything wrong with it. It was nice. It's stretchy, it has a stretchy material, but yet yeah, it's kind of confirming. So compression sort of, so I like that in my kind of clothes, so I think that's really cute. I am I was glad to find this. I think this was the first thing I found when I went there the other day, in the first bin, so I was glad that I found that. This next hoodie, um, I didn't really look over it too well when I was there. It's a Nike extra large zip up hoodie. Um, I liked it because the color was kind of interesting. Um, the only thing you can definitely tell it's worn. Um, you'd have to just take off some of the pilling that's happening. But I do see like a little stain right here. Um, I'm not sure if that'll come off in the wash. I don't think it is, it looks deep set. So we'll see how that goes. I will post it uh, really cheap. And I think there's a few stains in here too. I might even just give this right back to Goodwill. I don't think I'll have much luck with that. So I'll throw that off to the side. I have this shirt. Um, the brand is RXB. It has a brand new tag on it from Gordman's. So I know that's usually not really pricey, but since it had new with tags, it's a large, it's a sweater. This is kind of like a faux leather detail to it. I thought it was pretty interesting, um, especially since it's winter. I could probably, somebody will like it. If not, I will try it on and maybe see how it fits me. The next thing I got, I was going back and forth on this because I was looking up comps for like fringe vests and they were pretty good, but they were all obviously real leather. Um, so eh, this was okay. I kind of I put it back a couple times, got it again, because I th thought to myself, you know, if I don't get it, I might regret it. So I got this. It's just a faux leather, I think it's polyester, a little vest from Arizona Jeans. It's gray and it has long fringe on it, so we'll see how that goes. We will see how that one goes. 
the next item is another skirt. I looked up comps on this. It wasn't too bad. It was like 15 probably, which I'm okay with. Um, it's called, it's by Sunny Taylor. So it's a 12 petite. But I thought it was really pretty. So it's just a longer kind of below the knee skirt. But the detail has like lace on the bottom and it has gold detailing with some gems on it. So I thought that was really pretty. The one that I saw was the exact same one. It sold, I think, for 15. So I'll try it. Why not? The next item, sorry if I'm bending over to get my stuff. The next item, it's a long sleeve shirt by Good Human. I would have never known about this brand until I started watching um, other like resale videos talking about this brand. And I looked it up and like their shirts are like $75 for just a t-shirt. But it's a long sleeve white shirt. It's chaos and then sleep somewhere in there. It's really soft. Um, on the back it says good human I think like the like every shirt does but I think it's really soft it's really comfy feeling um, I kind of like this myself but I'll put it up there see how it goes this next one is oh, I hate these kind of shirts it's like the two-tone so it has a built-in tank top to it I only hate it because it's so hard to get it correct to hold up but it had new with tag so I liked that idea from it um, so it retailed for 44 this is an apartment 9 shirt long sleeve flowy shirt I think it's pretty um, I usually wear this kind of stuff to my job so we'll see how that goes so these I I really wish these were my size they are extra small but I tried it on. It just doesn't, it doesn't button. And I don't know how bad that will look if people see me with a jacket that obviously they know can't button. But I really like this jacket. It's a Kenneth Cole long peacoat kind of rain, uh, windbreaker raincoat material. It has its belt. It's all black. Really long. So it, for me, I am 4'11", so it goes right below my knees. And I've never had a jacket like that, so I was really excited to see it and it's in good condition the only thing i can see which might be you know just i have to wash it there's a little bit of you can tell right here discoloration um but that might just be because it was dirty and in the bins so i have to see how to wash that but i really i really like this i wish it was my size the next item is a cool jacket too i've never had like a long jacket they just look so sophisticated and i don't think i can pull it off just because i'm so short but i tried this on it looks good too it just doesn't button because it's an extra small as well but it's a vera wang a simply vera vera wang pea coat so it's in that like um i know it's not wool but it feels like the wool material and on the back it has this kind of material I don't know how to explain it but it's really pretty it's a long black pea coat have to wash it obviously but it has some pockets like this I really like it um, we'll see how it goes since it is a jacket and since it is winter right now um, hoping that somebody will see that and like it and these next items I got for myself to keep. Um, most of them are for my daughter and for my son. So uh, I'll most likely keep all of this uh, for them. But you really can't go wrong. This is just a sleep shirt. So my daughter is four, so she will like this. It's like a fleece sleep shirt, sleep dress. I'm um, pretty sure Walmart brand, but you really, it's, you can't go wrong with getting your kids clothes from the bins. Um, you know 50 cents an item it's so worth it because my kids they might wear these like one time like their clothes one time um especially my son he's 18 months so he'll wear a shirt and stain it right away almost um 
with like juice or food or anything. So I really don't like buying brand new clothes for them because they stain it up all. But I got this little hoodie for my daughter. Um, it's really soft and glittery and it says be unique. So and it's uh, cold here. I live in Missouri, so it's cold. But yeah, that's really cute. I like that. This next one. What is this? Um, I think I probably got this for me. <laughs> but it's just a black dress. Just a regular black dress. It's, it's Morona, so it's Target brand. So probably just got that for me because it was a black dress. Next item is for my daughter. I got her a long sleeve shirt with like some lace detail on the bottom. I thought that was really cute and she doesn't really have much long sleeve shirts. So I was glad to find that. She loves superheroes. She is the epitome of a tomboy. So I got, I found a super girl outfit. So she will, she'll like that. She really likes Wonder Woman. So I'm hoping she'll like that. She'll just think it's Wonder Woman. I got, I usually visit Colorado um, at least twice a year to go on some vacation and um, like weekend trips. It's a 12 hour drive for me. So when I saw this Colorado shirt, I loved it. Um, it has a C on it. The long sleeve, kind of like fade out material. Um, you can tell it's been washed, but I like it still. And then on the back, Rocky Mountains and Vail, Colorado. So I really like that shirt. Um, it's like a sporty shirt. So I'll wear that around somewhere. This next one, I was debating on picking up. I kept kind of like looking at the comms and I'm like, okay, it's not really not that impressive. But it's really thick and really soft. And I kind of liked it for myself. So I'm debating on what I want to do with this, if I want to even post it on Posh or just wash it and use it for myself. But the brand is Active Life. And so when I looked up comps, it really wasn't that great. It was maybe 15, 20 tops. Um, so like I said, I would be okay with that. For me trying to sell it, I'd sell it for 15, go down to 10. I would be fine with that, but I might just keep it because it's really thick. It's a workout shirt. It has cutouts on the, the for the thumbs. It's nice blue material and it's really soft. So I'll see it. I'll try it on. See how it fits me. This next jacket. You see, I hit myself with this jacket. So this one I thought was so cute. It's like what size is this? Two T. So my eighteen month old will probably fit it. For well, it'll probably be too big. But it's from Oshkosh, and it's like a little fireman jacket, and there's that. It's a rain jacket, so the rain material. And then on the back, it's like, it says volunteer fireman, and it's yellow and has a little like bright things right here. I think he would be so cute in it, so I had to pick that up. Another thing, ugh, these, I just, they are just regular nothing shorts. Stretchy shorts, but... This is my son, he, the third size is 5T, but those do not look like five. They f look like they would fit my like 20 pound baby. So, got those. This, what is this? So it's a hoodie from Baby Gap. It doesn't, oh, it says 2T. So I think this, and uh, my son, his name is Jameson. So if I say Jameson, that's who I'm talking about. He really, I was going through his clothes. He does not have any long sleeve shirts. He has maybe two. And it's winter here in St. Louis. So I was kind of surprised that he doesn't have that much clothes for winter. But here it is. Um, just a regular hoodie. That was cute. You can't go wrong with it. This next one is a long sleeve shirt for him. Um, this has little airplanes on it. Pretty cool. Uh, if you think that's cool I got this one I was I'm debating on if I want to post it on Poshmark or if I want to just let my son have it um when he gets older because it's a size five it's from Polo Ralph Lauren and it's just a zip up 
sweatshirt hoodie. Um, but I know, I know this won't fit him right now, um, but it will in the future. So I'm not sure if I want to save it for him or if I just want to post it and then see what I can get for it and kind of go from there, like give him a jacket when he gets older. <laughs> this next one is a two 3T jacket from Protection System. I don't, I've never heard of that brand. But like I said, he really didn't have any winter stuff. And I found this and it was perfect, especially since I got it from the bins. You really can't go wrong. Because even kids' jackets are expensive. Um, and when I say expensive, I mean like I'm a single mom of two and anything over $10 is expensive. So just put that into perspective of when I say things are expensive. Then I got a shirt, a long sleeve cotton really thick sweater shirt for him with a, a pirate raccoon so you know like that I think my daughter would like that she'll like laugh at him when he wears that and then looks like the last thing I have in my bands is a little like it's a white fluffy soft hoodie as well and it has little bunny ears on it or bear ears I'm gonna say it's so cute so I got that for him too. And I don't see any stains on this either. It's really soft. Hopefully. Oh, he'll he'll wear this one time. This white stuff, it will be blue, it'll be red, it'll be every other color except white. So that's why I don't really feel so bad buying this because I got it from the Goodwill bins. And we'll say like 50 cents, if that, for it. So I like it. So, and then I got a bunch of other random stuff. So I got Christmas decorations. I got Halloween decorations, fall decorations. Um, what else, did I get anything else? Uh, I think that's it. Just a lot of decorations and some bins. I didn't really see any purses um, the last two times I went. These, what I just showed you are two different trips. Um, one yesterday and then one the weekend before but yeah I think that's it I ended up paying so the first time I went I got 16 pounds and that was $21 the next time I got I think 20 pounds worth of stuff and it was that my total was 29 so for all this stuff $49 and Keep in mind, I didn't show you all, like, the decoration. I got glass. I got stuff like that, too. So, and housewares. But, yeah, I think that's a really good deal. Um, it's obviously not for everybody to go through those bins and to go through all the craziness of everybody who goes there. But I think it's fine. The first time I went, I spent two hours there. And the second time I went, it was three hours. So, you really have to put time away for it if you want to look through everything. But yeah, thank you guys for watching if you made it this far into my video. Um, I will post my closet in the description if you want to check it out. I will be taking pictures of this stuff soon and posting on there. If you see anything you're interested, comment below, message me, um, stuff like that. So yeah, um, I don't think there's anything else I really need to talk about. My posh closet is Diane Adams. Um, and I'm pretty sure my Macari is too. Like I said, I have, I've had so much luck on Macari compared to Poshmark. So I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of in favor of Macari right now, but yeah, I will put everything up as soon as I can. So thank you guys for watching again, like I said, um, and let me know if you want to keep, you know, if you want me to keep posting hauls of what I find in the thrift store. So thanks guys. See you later.